Hi, I'm Sana Masroor and I'm going to explain the concept of effective multiplication factor K effective. In nuclear power plants, heat is generated by a nuclear fission chain reaction, where uranium-235 atoms are bombarded by neutron, releasing loads of energy. For self-sustained fission chain reaction, every fission initiates another fission. K-effective is ratio of neutron produced from fission in one neutron generation to neutron absorption and leakage in the preceding neutron generation. If depends on six factors, fast fission factor, fast non-leakage probability, resonance escape probability, thermal non-leakage probability, thermal utilization factor, and reproduction factor. K effective is less than 1 means the number of neutrons is decreasing in time to subcritical state. K effective is equal to 1 reactor is in the critical state. K effective is more than 1 means reactor is in the supercritical state. K effective tells us about life cycle of neutron in nuclear reactor. Neutrons released from fission are fast neutrons which slow down to resonance energy and finally to thermal energy. In next few minutes, imagine you have fast neutron released after nuclear fission and can cause nuclear fission reaction in uranium-238 producing more fast neutrons. Fast fission factor is fast neutrons produced by fission at all energies divided by fast neutrons produced in thermal fission. Some fast neutrons can escape out of the reactor. So whatever fast neutrons are remaining in the reactor are to be accounted by second factor Fast you have reached the resonance energy levels and can get absorbed by resonance capture. So escaping resonance capture is very important, which is given by third factor resonance escape probability. Now that you are safe to continue your journey towards fission, you might want to leak out for fun. So the fourth factor thermal non-leakage probability tells us about the thermal neutrons which have not leaked out of the reactor. However, if you are a disciplined neutron, you will go and get absorbed by fuel and not get lost in the core. This is given by fifth factor, thermal utilization factor. Finally, comes the reproduction factor, eta, which is ratio of number of fast neutrons produced by thermal fission divided by number of thermal neutrons absorbed in the fuel. Thus, neutrons can fast fission uranium-238 leak out of reactor as fast neutrons. Meet resonance capture, leak out as thermal neutron, get absorbed in fuel, fission with uranium-235. Multiplying six factors together, we get the value of K effective. Time for you to rewind the video and grasp the concept and be a good neutron. Namaste from India.